79 years ago today, hottest day ever in Baltimore, July the 10th, 1936, the all-time record high for the uh, Baltimore official weather station, 107 degrees on this day in 1936. That's a scorcher, folks. And it was even hotter out west of us. You normally think of the mountains as being cool, but some of those spots out west can really heat up, especially depending on the wind direction. Cumberland and Frederick topped out at 109, 109 degrees, hottest in the state. Uh, back on July the 10th, 1936. And it wasn't in 36, it was in 1913, but it was on July the 10th when the uh, all time record high, not only for North America, but for the world, Death Valley, California, 134. For a long time, there was a place in uh, Libya, I believe it was, that had, had an unofficial record high of 136, but that has since been declassified. And now that is it, folks. 134 all time record high, July the 10th, 1913, out in Death Valley, California. So you get to the 10th day of July and you know. You're in the heat of summer, for sure. So a day like today, it's a real gift. 81 in Westminster, 84 in Easton. Humidity levels coming down significantly, too. So these temperatures are below normal, and the humidity levels are not what you typically expect in July. Very nice Friday for us. Get out west, and it's even cooler. 60s and 70s in Frostburg and Oakland, a welcome relief. Now, there are some showers to our south. This is the front that went through last night. Still kicking up some showers and storms on Interstate 64 there between Richmond and Charlottesville. And then a little farther west, the showers pick up west of the mountains, and that's going to be coming in here later tonight. So things are going to change. Clouds increasing through the evening, showers arriving probably after 9 or 10 o'clock tonight in the western areas, pushing across Baltimore during the overnight hours. Lows tonight from 67 to 72, the winds light and variable. Now, the rain chances tomorrow will be mainly in the morning. The good news is that this little wave of low pressure on the front is moving at a good clip. There's the front that went through yesterday. Now the area of low pressure tracking along it generates more showers. Maybe even some thunder in southern Maryland tomorrow morning. Even in the early morning hours, we could have some thunder south of Baltimore into the southern sections of the state. But once this passes by, high pressure fills in behind it. And even as early as tomorrow afternoon, we're anticipating sunshine. And Sunday looks like a beautiful weekend day. So there you see some showers in the area early tomorrow morning. Maybe even some thunderstorms down to the south of us. But by 9, 10, 11 o'clock, it's going away. Skies are clearing up. Sunshine returns in the afternoon. And Sunday looks like a partly cloudy day with temperatures warm. So overall, the weekend is pretty nice. Showers early tomorrow morning, partly cloudy by afternoon, some good sunshine to enjoy, 82 to 87 degrees, northeast winds at 5 to 10. Saturday forecast on the bay calls for winds out of the east, waves averaging a foot. If you're traveling westbound into the mountains for the weekend, expect, well, partly cloudy skies tomorrow and on Sunday, only a 20% chance of showers and highs pretty nice, 76 to 80 degrees. Eastern shore locations for your weekend, a morning shower tomorrow, but very early. And then the sun comes out by afternoon and a warm, sunny Sunday. And if your plans take you down to the beach, 60% chance of showers and storms in the morning tomorrow, but some afternoon sun may even get hit to Ocean City by late in the day. And then 81 and sunny on Sunday, nice weekend day there, partly cloudy on Monday. Seven day forecast then. We keep temperatures below normal Saturday and Sunday. 89 degrees on Monday, and as we head into the middle of next week, a chance for some thunderstorms.